I got a juice, juice. Ha. Juice, juice, juice. What up, what up? You're watching Still Got the Juice TV, and today our featured artist is Zaire. Yes, sir. You hear me here, man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling amazing. All right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're going to get through this. I got a little brief Q&A because I'm curious about you. <laughs> I definitely tapped into your music. You've been dropping a lot. Yes, yes. A lot, yes. a lot. Consistently. Consistently. Consistency is the key. And I'm curious, what's the reason why you started creating music in the first place? Well, I feel like music is a form of expression. Um, a lot of things that be going on in the world, a lot of situations I feel like it should be addressed. So I use that in my artistic way, which is through music, so I can be able to, you know, resonate with all people, you know, just really use my voice. I feel like I want to I wanna be the voice of this generation. So that's the reason why I make music. Was this always the plan? Did you ever want to be something else or do anything else? Um, you know what's funny? As a kid, nobody knows this, but as a kid, I wanted to be a farmer. Um, <laughs> but music is, that's, it's like, I've always been into music since like two years old. I was introduced to Michael Jackson and from there on, it's like just seeing the magic, that's what inspired me and just hearing the sound. And I wanted to implement that. I wanted to implement that in my own way. By, you know, creating my sounds and, you know, just being different, so. Okay. One thing I receive from your music is that you tend to touch on your faith from every, every now and then. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you intend to keep doing as you progress? Um, well, I'm a faithful person, but I like to speak on everything. I speak about my faith because that's how, you know, that's how I grew up. And I do have a relationship with God. But um, my main focus is really just speaking on a lot of topics that, Everybody else don't really have a voice or don't have the platform to do it. So I want to use my platform to be able to, you know, just let my light shine and, and do it through music. And, you know, just speak to everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. I seen you went to the new podcast, Listen to Black Women. <laughs> How was that experience? Oh, it was, it was actually an, an amazing experience, you know. It was actually different questions. I can't really tell what we, what we were talking <laughs> about, but it was great topics. So. Okay. And I've seen your recent release, mm -hmm. Richard Pryor, it yes. features a dream sample that I love. Yeah, so yeah. I want to know the process. I know you gave us a lot of bars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know the process, though. I created it? Yes. Um, this producer's name is Gene Bell. I linked up with him one time. I was in Brooklyn. Um, me and my manager, Maha, and another fellow friend. His name is, I don't want to give the name. I don't, I don't know if I should be doing that. But we had another fellow friend that's in the music industry. We always just topping it up um, about my music. He was showing me, or we, I was showing him some of my songs. And then this producer, which is Gene Bell, he came through. And he was like, yo, you doing music? And I was mm. like, yeah, man. And then we just chopped it up. And from there on, it's like he'd been sending me some beats and stuff. And the way I work is like as soon as I get the beat, boom, I get right to it. And then probably like an hour or two. Three hours later, four hours later. I know that day the song is done. And yeah, it was just a simple process. I was in my room. I wrote it. I recorded on my little USB mic. The magic came about. You know, it's not about where you record it. It's how you do it mm. and the vision behind it. So that's what? the key. I'm actually very surprised that that's how you recorded it because I can't tell. <laughs> so kudos um, to your engineers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Danny G sounds. Let's get it. It's my dude. I want to know, Richard Pryor, are we going to get a remix? And if you did a remix, who are you throwing on there? Oh, my gosh. That's a great question. Um, I feel like we could get, honestly, it would be dope if we get Fabulous to the remix because it's, mm. it's his song, but why not? Uh, probably Drake, you know what I'm saying? He was on the remix. It just sounds right just hearing those guys are probably like, i say Cole. Woo. Cole. Let's do it. That would be fire. So. Yeah, man. When I listen to your music, I don't know how comfortable you are with me saying this, mm -hmm. but you give a little Kendrick-esque in your tones and your cadences. Is that you, is that something you hear often? I do hear off. I do hear that often, but the difference is, you know, Kendrick write his songs, I write my songs. But mm -hmm. the dope part about it is that people would compare me to these great guys. Like I hear people say I sound like uh, Kendrick. I heard Cole. I heard Common and a lot of guys in that caliber 
some say Chance the Rapper, some say Kanye West. And these are great names. It's not like these are little names. Like, you know what I'm saying? These are names that people know. So that's how I see myself. I see myself at a higher level, just like those guys, you know? So. All right. You, that's a compliment. <laughs> I, I can't knock it because the song, Don't Sit Me Down. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't knock the feeling. It's very chill worthy. Oh, man. So I want to know because this year you dropped PGT. PGT, yeah. Driven with the wind, how don't worry. Like uh -huh. you really gave us a lot. Yeah, that that was actually like a project. That project was called Paragon. And I think that was like a season of just trying to figure out my sound. Well, not figure out my, my sound, but it was a season where I felt like it was just so much going on. And I feel like I just I just need to speak about a lot of these things. I mean, I do that on the regular, but that was like a whole different season. This new stuff that I'm putting out, I wanna I don't mean it in this way. But I need some songs that's more so for the streets, in a mm. sense. Like, I want people that's out here to listen to this, to this music. I feel like we need a balance right now. The music industry has all of this, but now we, the music industry needs this. And this, this is me. So, yeah. Okay. But that, this is me. I'm amazed by your production.